Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today we are going to speak about when is enough enough? When is it time to throw in the towel? When is it time to really wrap things up and walk away permanently? I'm going to give you five things to think about. Maybe it's time for you to walk away. Stay tuned. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So, five things to think about. Maybe it's time for you to wrap things up and throw in the towel forever, never to turn around and look back at that little person again. So, the very first thing to think about is when your needs are not being met. Now, I have to preface this and say that you have already had a conversation with your spouse, with your partner, with your mate to say, hey, these are the things that I need in order to be in this relationship with you, in order for me to be happy in this relationship with you. This is what you need to bring to the table in order for me to be satisfied in this relationship. So you've already had that conversation. And now the thing that you are thinking about is, you know what? I've already had this conversation. I had to talk to him several times. And guess what? So fam, yes, that is the very first thing to think about is that you've already had the conversation, but now your needs are still not being met. No matter what you have tried to get across to your mate, they still not pleasing you in that manner. Which actually brings me to point number two, which is... Because you've already had this talk with your mate several times, now you have decided to start creeping outside of the relationship. Yes, you have become a, what they call, cheater. Because all of those needs that you were pleading and begging to receive while you were at the house with your hubby, while you were at the house with your boo, while you were at the house with your baby, and he or she is not meeting those needs, and now you decided to say, you know what? I'm sick and tired of having the same conversation. So what I'm going to do is I actually love her. I actually love him, but I still need my needs met. And so in order to get your needs met, now you outside creeping. The third thing to think about is you are scared to ask for more from your partner because you just don't want to deal with that conversation that's going to come up. Maybe it's an argument. Maybe you know that they be doing throwing little tantrums or trying to fill you with guilt trying to give you the guilty trip and so you like you know what I don't even want to deal with this and so yeah you like you know what and scared might be a harsh word to insert there but they could have been violent towards you before or maybe they are a person that like likes to like punch holes in the wall when they don't get their way or they just act like a you know throw temper tantrums or this huge fight ensues because you're asking for more knowing that he or she should give you more but instead of doing that they start to give you the guilt trip or make you feel scared or they actually just start being a straight up jerk or try to turn everything on you so again that scared word encompasses all of that stuff so maybe you're just scared to ask for what you actually want in a relationship because you just don't want to deal with the repercussions behind asking. The fourth thing that you need to consider, maybe you need to wrap up the towel, throw in in forever on this ridiculous person. <laughs> if you actually feel obligated to stay with them because they were there in you guys rough time or maybe you met at a very vulnerable time or maybe they decided to help you out financially they were the only ones that were actually there for you they had your back and now you just feel obligated to stay but there is really no more connection there um, again you're not not getting your needs met because you've already had this conversation you, you might be cheating or creeping whatever word you want to insert there okay um, maybe you want to identify yourself as a cheater but You are. <laughs> so you feel obligated to stay with them. Maybe you guys actually have children together or a child and you feel obligated to stay because you don't want that child to grow up in a single parent home. But Booski, bruh, let me just let y'all understand that children are smarter than we think that they are. And they know when something is not right. They might not be able to pinpoint what is actually going on in the relationship, but they absolutely know when something is not right between their parents. And y'all can act all you want to act, but they know when something ain't right. They a thousand percent know when something is not right between mother and father. This includes the step parents in there as well. They know when something ain't right. And studies actually show that you actually 
harm the children more by staying in a horrible, toxic, unfulfilling relationship versus just you two splitting and becoming co-parents. It's actually better to walk away so you can be happy. And each time the child is in either one of you's presence, whether together or separately, they can actually feel the love. They can feel the joy. They can feel your happiness instead of you guys staying together because kids must grow up in a two parent home. But y'all miserable. So you feel obligated to stay with her. You feel obligated to stay with him. It might be time to wrap it up. Throw in the towel forever and walk away, never to look back again. Again, unless you got kids, then that's a different story. But moving on to point number five. The fifth thing that you need to consider is, you know what? If your partner is just being very abusive to you. And again, I've talked about abuse a few times now. This can be any type of abuse that you want to insert there, whether it's emotional, financial, spiritual, or, or um, excuse me, or physical abuse. Any of those abuses are terms to really just wrap it up, especially if the person is not working on that baggage that they have, that funky trash that they bring it over to your relationship. If they are not working on bettering themselves so they can get away from being that emotional abusive person or physical abusive person, financial abusive person, uh, spiritual abusive person, Something to think about to wrap it up because money and children are the top two reasons why relationships do not work out. And spirituality and, and being um, connected via God actually comes in about number six, but it's still high up on the food chain. So fam, these are five things to think about when it's time or just maybe it's time for you to wrap up the whole relationship throw in the towel forever never to walk away again think about it and definitely take these things into consideration because here at i love me 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 i'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy healthy romantic relationships because knowledge is power but applied knowledge is better i'll see you guys in another video deuces